In this video, I want to talk about how to use the Ozobot with the Ozoblockly shape tracer, because by now you probably already know that Ozobot will follow a drawn line um, on a piece of paper, and it will follow that line, and it can read color codes, but what you might not know is that you can actually write programs on Ozoblockly, load them into your Ozobot, and then run it um, independently, actually uploading the program into the Ozobot itself. So I'm going to show you how that works on a Chromebook because um, it's a little bit different than you might have used in Ozobot before. So first you go into the shape tracer and you have to write your program. It's a drag and drop um, interface, kind of like Scratch. And you, the goal is to make the Ozobot trace the shape shown in the upper right hand corner. So once you think you have that done, you can actually press run to test your program. And you can see I get a little victory sound there, which is great. But the, the big thing here is actually running the program um, on your Ozobot. So what I'm going to do, in order to see this better, I'm going to flip this around a little bit. I'm going to fold my Chromebook back, actually. Ooh. I won't be able to see there. OK. The first thing I need to do is I have to calibrate my Ozobot on my Chromebook. So I'm going to press and hold him until he starts to flash, like I would calibrate him on a sheet of paper. and then I'm going to place him on the white Ozobot silhouette. Now I know my Ozobot is calibrated for the screen. Oh yeah, also make sure that your screen is turned up to maximum brightness. I did that before I started, so I know I'm okay. Now, I'm gonna take my mouse and I'm gonna hover over the load Ozobot button. Now I've already calibrated my Ozobot, so I'm gonna tap him once just to turn him on and put him on top of that spot. Now I'm gonna hit load Ozobot and watch as he starts to flash green. That means that the program is uploading to the Ozobot itself. Now it says program loaded. That means I can take my Ozobot and I can actually run the program. So now I'm going to move my Chromebook out of the way. I'm going to take my Ozobot and I'm going to double tap the button. One, two, place him down and he will run the program that I wrote, which is a straight green line. If it runs successfully, he does a little victory dance and that's how I know that I did it correct. Now I like to, at every level, recalibrate my robot before I load each new program in, but that's entirely up to you um, whether or not you choose to do that, but that's the quick overview of how you load a program into your Ozobot.